Hi, this is Nikki from Blackbaud. In this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the features we enhanced in version 6.45. Let's start with an option that allows you to quickly navigate from one administrative site to another. When you host multiple sites, a change link now appears alongside the current site in the bottom left of the menu bar. When you click this link, a drop-down list appears with all the sites that you have rights to access. After you select a site, it is selected by default the next time you access the program. Next, let's look at a change that affects multiple areas in the program. You can now select multiple items in Pages and Templates, Parts, Image Library, and Lists. This allows you to move, delete, or approve multiple items at one time. For example, in Pages and Templates, you can click the new checkboxes in the grid to select multiple pages or templates, and then you can click Move or Delete. Similar checkboxes also appear in Parts and Lists. Image Library does not include checkboxes with thumbnails, but you can select multiple images by pressing Shift or Control on the keyboard and then clicking the thumbnails. Enhancements were also made to the Schedules tab in Sites and Settings where you establish schedules for services. When you view your service schedules, Inline Help now appears alongside each setting to indicate the time and date when the service last ran and whether it completed successfully. In addition, a new Secure Payment Template Update setting now appears on the tab. You use this setting to update the style sheet, layout, and template for the secure payment pages that process payments for Payment 2.0 parts. Previously, the secure payment pages used a generic template that did not match the rest of your website. Now they use the same style sheet, layout, and template as the Payment 2.0 part, and you can use the Secure Payment Template Update setting to manually update them with the latest changes. There are several important considerations for rendering the secure payment pages, so be sure to read the New Features Guide for more information. This release also includes improvements to the URLs for your web pages. When you create pages and edit page properties, the Friendly URLs tab no longer appears because you can now edit URLs directly on the Properties tab. In the new Page URL field, you can edit the portion of the URL that appears after the domain. By default, a suggested URL appears when you create a page. This URL combines the page name and the folder where you store the page. The complete URL with the domain appears just below the Page URL field. When you upgrade, the URL enhancements do not affect existing page URLs, but you can now edit those URLs as necessary on the Properties tab. Image Library has also been updated to improve how you store and manage images for your website. Previously, you stored images in categories that were used to identify their content. Now when you add images, you select a folder to store them, and then you add tags to identify the content. You can add multiple tags to your images. Tags are keywords or phrases that identify an image's content, and you can use them to search for images in Image Library. In addition, you can now edit the URLs for the web pages that store images. When you add images, the new URL path fields appears for each one. By default, it combines the folder where you store the image and the image's name. The complete URL includes your domain and the file extension, but you cannot edit this portion of the URL. In addition to the other changes, users can now log into BlackBodNet Community and the PatronEdge Online with a single sign-on. A PatronEdge Online login screen allows users to access both programs, and administrators can set up tabs and links to help users navigate between the programs. This single sign-on feature is available with the PatronEdge Online 3.4.1.4 and the PatronEdge 3.406. This release also includes additional enhancements, such as the ability to send event registration and membership notifications to staff members, additional merge fields with the event registration part, and the association of email lists from user imports with specific sites. For more information about these and other features, check out the new features guide found on the User's Guides page on blackbaud.com.